Hello guys, I am Ritu Raj, your course instructor for uh, module 5, that is sample techniques 1. Uh, this module is very important and very easy and you should understand this module in order to understand the next module as well because next module is just the continuation of this module and uh, if you understand the concepts in this module then the next module is very easy for you. So I'll be discussing uh, the procedure for testing of hypothesis. Uh, I'll tell you step by step procedure. Uh, this is just a theory uh, to give you a hint what we are going to do and this would be helpful in your exam also if you uh, forget how, what step you have to do next then you can refer to this so please 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 write this uh, write these steps so the very first step is set up the null hypothesis h0 how to set the null hypothesis i'll tell you in the question now second is set up the alternate hypothesis h1 this will enable us to decide whether we have to use a single tailed or two tailed test under single tail test there are two categories that is left and right choose the appropriate level of significance significance either 5% or 1% level so you have to choose a significant a signif a level of significance uh, it would be uh, mentioned in the question only but uh, in case it is not mentioned then you can choose either of them or it's preferred to choose 5% uh, your teacher might tell you uh, what you need to choose uh, it depends upon the teacher so next is test statistics so test statistics uh, is the main step in a question and uh, in this module the test statist statistics is z here z is equals to t minus e of t under uh, s into e of t so in the final step that is fifth step is conclusion so in this step, we need to compare the computed value of uh, Z in step 4 with significant value of Z alpha, that is stable value, at given level of significance. So if mod Z less than Z alpha, we accept the null hypothesis. We will write that uh, null hypothesis is accepted. H0 at both 1% and 5% level. If mod z greater than z alpha, we reject the null hypothesis h0 at both 1% and 5% level. This is the conclusion which we need to write. So first we need to calculate z and second we need to refer to the z alpha. Z alpha is the table value. I would be showing you the table value in the next page. So now let us know what is tails. So tails is nothing but uh, if hypothesis 1 uh, then uh, if I, in hypothesis 1 if two quantities uh, theta and theta naught can be any two quantities mean or proportion or anything. So if theta not equal to theta naught it is two tailed test okay. If, hypo in, if in hypothesis theta greater than theta naught then it is right tailed test and if in hypothesis theta less than theta naught then it is left tail test got it so this is the table value which we were talking about uh, in the last page so this is the critical value of z that is z alpha so now you know what is z and z alpha so z was the formula which we will get in the next uh, pages and z alpha is the table value so write down this table this table is very important you won't uh, need 2% or 10% you can just write for 1% and 5% uh, two tail test right uh, tail left tail if it is not clear to you which tail you want to take a uh, take then you can take two tail test always it's uh, like not wrong if you take it so when the person uh, level of significance is 1% and the test is two tail test then the value of z alpha is 2.58 when the test is uh, two tail test and the a level of significance is 5% then the value of z alpha is 1.96 similarly when the uh, test is right tailed the value of z alpha is 2.33 at 1% and so on similarly so uh, pause the video and write down this table this table is very important for solving your questions so you may skip 2% and 10% thing uh, you just need 1% and 5% so uh, now testing hypothesis there are two types of testing broad categories of testing 
that is large sample where n is greater than 30 number of samples greater than 30 and next is small sample that is n less than 30 that number of sample is less than 30 so in this module we would be dealing with large samples and the, in the next module we would be dealing with small samples so test test of significance for large sample if the size of the sample n is greater than 30 then the sample is called large sample okay so now let us see test one so test one is test of significance for single proportion if in the question you have been given only single proportion then how will you test so to test the significance uh, difference between the sample proportion sample proportion is denoted by small p and population proportion is denoted by capital p so sample proportion and uh, population proportion that is capital p we need to deal with these two in the test one that is test of significance for single proportion in this the test statistics uh, would be z is equals to what is small p small p is sample proportion minus capital p that is uh, population proportion under uh, root under p the uh, capital p what is capital p capital p is uh, population proportion and uh, capital q is capital q is nothing but 1 minus capital p capital q is uh, nothing but 1 minus capital p and uh, divided by small n what is small n small is uh, small n is the sample size then there are two nodes limit for population proportion uh, capital p are given by capital uh, small p plus 3 into root under small p small q divided by small n where q small q is 1 minus small uh, p in the question you might be asked what is the limit of population proportion then this is the formula then second point is 98 percent confidence level uh, confidence limits for population proportion are in the question you might be asked what is the 98 percent confidence limit so then the formula is uh, small p plus minus 2.33 uh, under root pq uh, divided by small n this is the thing you will write this is small p not capital p keep it in mind so in the next lecture we would be seeing question upon this and we will proceed further Thank you.